Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video and today we'll be taking a look at level 10 links, 55% Goku slash Gohan. That's actually quite funny. Um, at this point, I've already uploaded the Pure Saiyans ESBR run uh, as well as the Ultimate Red Zone against Broly. At this point as well, I've actually also recorded and edited uh, the Omega run against the Ultimate Red Zone or the Ultimate Red Zone against Omega. Uh, I just have to render that out. But with this one, uh, we'll just be taking them into two different stages. So before we actually get into the showcase, um, and again, feel free to skip this part. You can just probably scroll along the YouTube timeline, check the comments or check the description. We're going to do a bit of a unit breakdown. So take a look at this unit's leader skill. Uh, the Goku slash Gohan unit, they give Super Saiyans or Goku's family three key and 170% tour stats. And then Android slash Cell Saga get the additional 30% to HP attack and defense. The super attack, the instant transmission Kamehameha, raises attack permanently. Raises defense for one turn and then does immense damage with a high chance of stunning. Take a look at the passive, Goku goes full throttle. Attack and defense 180%. They get, I say they, but he gets an additional 59% attack and defense when performing a super. He gets a high chance of evading enemies attacks within the same turn after performing a super. Five turns from the start of turn. He then picks up a medium chance of evading enemies attacks within the same turn after performing a super starting from the 6th turn, and then he also builds up attack and defense, it's 20% um, attack and defense, up to a max of 59%, with each attack evaded. Now he also has an active skill exchange, of course he exchanges into Gohan, and that can be activated after performing 3 or more super attacks in battle. Take a look at these skill orbs, I do have a level 5 defensive skill orb, so that's pretty good. As for links, we have Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, and then Fierce Battle, and then Categories, it's like he, this unit is on plenty of good and relevant categories, right? We've got Pure Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android slash Cell Saga, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, Turtle School, Heavenly Events, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, and then Entrusted Will. So that is the Goku part of the kit, that is also the sticker. Moving on to the Gohan. So the super attack effect does change. In fact, the super attack is called the Masenko. It now greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and does immense damage. Take a look at the passive skill. We've got Surpass Your Dad. That's actually quite a funny uh, passive skill name. So Gohan gets 180% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets an additional 58% attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. And he also raises defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defensive boost. Now this is where he gets pretty, pretty absurd, right? He guards all attacks for three turns from the start of turn. He gets an additional 58% defense starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the second time in battle. He then gets an additional 58% attack and defense starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the fourth time in battle. And then he gets absurd, right? He guards all attacks starting from the turn in which guard is activated for the sixth time in battle. And if that's not enough, he gets a great chance of evading enemies' key blast super attacks and then countering with Ferocious Power. Now, Ferocious Power is a 400% multiplier. It is different from the uh, standard 300% uh, tremendous multiplier. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Again, same skill orbs. Uh, link set remains the same as well, so that makes it really good in terms of linking this unit because you don't have to worry about uh, revolving or changing link sets. And then, of course, categories remain the same as well. That is the sticker effect. So that's pretty much the unit breakdown. The first stage I'll be taking uh, this unit into is Kamehameha Super Battle Road with this team. And then the second stage is going to be the Legendary Vegeta event with this team. So without further ado, let's hop in. So here we are, turn one of Kamehameha Super Battle Road. Uh, this is not an ideal rotation. Uh, I did want to get transforming Goku next to the Goku slash Gohan unit. So for now, we're going to float off the Ultra Instinct Sign Goku. We're going to pop a Icarus item. And we're going to let the Goku slash Gohan unit cook in the slot too. So we'll go with this. Let's just target Roshi because he's probably the danger enemy, right? We'll go with that. And then checking our defense. We're at 105k defense, which is not great. But we only have Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Kamehameha, and then Fierce Battle active. Let's see how this goes. In terms of calculating Goku's defense, it's just very simple. It's 105 multiplied by 1.59, multiplied by 1.3. Uh, so post super attack defense should be 217k, and that is, of course, without calculating or accounting for his extra buffs when evading attacks. 
Uh, this shouldn't do too much, right? Yeah, only 120, that's not bad. We are really looking for the stun here. Remember, this Goku does have a 50% chance to stun. Does he stun? He does not, thanks. Uh, but he does, of course, has a 50% chance to dodge. It looks like he got one of them dodges off. Okay, so not bad for his opening rotation. Let's move on to the next rotation. Okay, so we have a very interesting turn three. And I'm going to put the Goku slash Gohan unit in slot one. There is no fear of them being attacked before they get to attack. So we'll go ahead and try to stun the, the kid Goku here. We'll have our Super Saiyan 4 Goku in slot two. Finish off Grandpa Gohan and then... You're not really going to get a super attack, but again, I think that's fine. So, starter turn defense is 126. Remember, they did pick up an additional attack and defense of 20% in the previous turn because, of course, he evaded one attack. Do we get the stun here? We do not. Okay, yeah, great. We, we do not. It's fine, though. Uh, Goku's defense is very high at this point. So, from normals, he will be fine. And yeah, at this point, we should be moving on to the next phase. Okay, so we made it back to the second phase here. Finally got the rotation that I wanted, which was the transforming Goku next to the... I gotta think of another name. I can't just keep calling him Goku slash Gohan. We're just gonna keep... We're just gonna call him Goku for this particular run. And of course, once we jump into the legendary Vegeta rent, we'll just call him Gohan. But I'm gonna pop a Sensu. I really don't know how this rotation is gonna play. Because if I remember correctly, this transforming Goku does take a lot of damage from that cell. So... We'll have everyone target Cell. Uh, I really, I really, really, really need the stun from uh, Goku in slot 2 there. And we're going to have LR Super Saiyan for Goku also target Cell. Start of 10 defense is looking a lot better now. 125k, but let's see. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of freaking damage. Oh my god, okay. This stage is, is not a joke. Although I suppose this stage is balanced around like the 70th anniversary LRs, right? Because again... You bring the LR Super Saiyan 4s or the LR Gods and they just absolutely will trash this stage. Please stun. No stun. Okay, that sucks because, of course, if he does decide to super attack, that's going to hurt. I'm going to need LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku here to, like, double super. Um, he was also taking a bit of damage there, right? Like, what, 27k per normal, which, again, is fine. I would have preferred better tanking, but he's a build-up unit, right, this Goku. So let's move on to turn 3. Right, yet another interesting, very interesting rotation because we do have the support from the LR Saiyan Saga Goku in slot 3. We'll have Transforming Goku target the Physical Cell Jr. We'll have the Goku in slot 2 to target the Tech Cell Jr. And then the Saiyan Saga Goku can also target the Physical Cell Jr. So start of turn defense is 166k. He's looking a lot, lot better. Let's see how this goes. So... Again, to very quickly calculate his defense, we just do 166. He's still taking that much damage. Oh my god, okay. Transforming Goku, could you be a bit better, please? Uh, but again, back onto his defense post super. It will be 343k, which, again, is pretty good for a 55% unit. Please stun. No stun again? Okay, you just suck. Uh, okay, no. He doesn't suck, but he doesn't suck, but he sucks, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's move on. Okay, so we made it to the final phase. Let me see. Let's just be honest. We know how much damage this Goku takes from normals anyway. Uh, we're going to pop another item. We'll pop the Icarus. I think I'm also going to be a bit risky here. We're going to pop the Sensu Bean and we're going to move the Goku in slot 2 into slot 1. Let's target Goten because we have two AGL units on rotation. We'll go over this. We'll have the Transforming Goku target Goku. And then we'll have El Super Saiyan 4 Goku also target Goku. Start of turn defense is 125. We do have the Icarus... I was going to say Icarus support memory, but no, the Icarus item active. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage, but again, this is not how you're supposed to use this Goku. Remember, he gets 59% defense when performing a super attack. He also gets a 50% chance to dodge after super attacking. And then he also has a 50% chance to stun, right? Which is obviously directing us, the player, to put this Goku into slot 2. I can't believe we didn't get a stun again, but honestly, all things considered, I feel like he tanked that super attack okay. It was with an item active, but it is what it is. So, let's move on. Right, so we've swiftly moved on to the legendary Vegeta event. This is probably something that I forgot to talk about in the initial run. 
The reason why I didn't use the Goku and Gohan under their own leader skill for Kamehameha Super Battle Road was just because I wanted to see this unit in as many different leader skills and, and as many different situations as possible. So that is why we're now using the full 200% leader skill where it will matter because in an event like this, we're very likely to get the Gohan form, right? We're very likely to exchange. So off the bat, one thing to note is that the extra 200% leader skill, I say extra 200% leader skill, but the extra 40% of stats that we're picking up with uh, a double 200% leader skill is making all the difference, right? I know that we have um, all in the family active. I know that we have the support from the int LR Goku, but already our starter turn defense is quite a lot higher. So we're going to go with this. I'm going to try and float Namek Goku off in the next rotation so we can get Namek Goku alongside this Goku slash Gohan unit. And at that point, uh, we'll start to cook. What kind of attacks did he have for me here? Goku, 3.6. Okay, again, it's not the greatest, but we don't really have Super Saiyan. We don't have Prepare for Battle. We don't have Kamehameha active. So I'm going to take that attack step. Pretty good damage. There's one evasion. There's the second dodge. So not bad for his opening appearance. Okay, so turn number three. Our second rotation of the STR Goku slash Gohan unit. I'm fine with just keeping it in slot one. You know, this is a very early stage. We have type advantage, so we know we're not going to take that much damage. Um, I'm also probably going to save Weepan's active for later. Start of the defense is already looking pretty good. We only need one more attack to evade. And at that point, we would have fully built up our passive. So 4. Point, I was going to say 4.4, but 4.04. Again, not bad of an attack start. I don't actually believe this stage can be stunned. So for the most part, you know, the stun... It's pretty much invalid, um, you know, for these longer type content events, but we'd seen its impact in something like Super Battle Road earlier and uh, in other stages like the Ultimate Red Zone. For example, the first stage for Broly and the first stage for Omega. Okay, so we finally got the rotation that I wanted into Namek Goku next to this Goku slash Gohan unit. Now, I really want to keep Namek Goku in slot 1 because he hasn't super attacked at all, but I fear that even at 55% with the extra support that we're getting on this rotation, you would most likely finish off the Vegeta, right, with the double super, especially because I believe my Namek Goku... Uh, yeah, he does have a level 5 crit. I think I give him through the silver slot. Yeah, I did give him a level 5 crit through the silver slot. So we're not going to risk it. We're going to go with this. Let's just hope Namek Goku can double super attack anyway. But this, of course, will be the final uh, super attack until we are able to exchange into Gohan. So start of 10 defense is 176 it would have looked a lot better in slot 2 if we had all in the family activated from the floating lr goku at 6.2 that was that's actually a pretty good attack stat yeah that's a that's a pretty solid attack stat for a 55 percent unit remember he has a 55 percent has 55 he has a 50 percent chance to stun and a 50 percent chance to dodge so yeah not bad from uh, our boy str super saiyan goku Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a pretty banger OST. I also have to admit that I really like the animations overall for this Goku slash Gohan unit. So we're gonna keep Gohan in slot two. Uh, we will trigger half of his passive to be activated. Remember, Gohan will need a total of six attacks uh, to get guard for the rest of the battle. So I think we'll be fine with three. The only unfortunate part will be is if the next time we see Gohan, there are three attacks in slot three. We will have to, of course, float him off, but it is what it is. Uh, of course, Namek Goku is taking a bit of damage just because his defense was lowered and he hasn't really super attacked at all. I think he's only super attacked like once or twice. So uh, that is the reason why he's in slot one. Again, Namagoku's actually offense is still very good, right? Again, just very casually, 6 million, 7 million attacks. That's it. Defense is building, but yeah, I do wish he started off with a higher starter turn defense. So 3.19 from you, pretty good. Uh, remember, with two attacks, he gets 58% defense. With four attacks, he gets 58% attack and defense. And then with six attacks, that's when he maxes out his guard. Uh, this will do a lot of damage. I say a lot, but it'll do a bit of damage. Yeah, 51k, not bad. Uh, but do remember this Vegeta did lower our defense there, so that does suck. Okay, so a few things to point out here is that 
Gohan, remember his defense was loaded, which is why it's a lot less. We're going to keep him in slot one, though. Remember, we do need three attacks to fully max out his guard, or so that he gets guard for the rest of the battle. Which does mean we are missing out on all in the family, but it's fine. Uh, we'll go with this over here. We'll go with Namek Goku's 12 key. Remember, I do want him stacking. I think we'll save the B-Pan active. Again, um, I want to try and save it to the final phase, right? Because at that point, we'll also hopefully have stacked with Namek Goku maybe a few times with his 18 key to get him stacking his attack. But uh, let's see. So 145k defense. Uh, we need three more attacks. We're actually very shy of the Doka mode as well, but that's fine. So that was pretty good, though. We got... What, the, the one time 58% attack buff for the turn, as well as the attack and defense 58% after receiving four attacks. So that's why Gohan's, yeah, that's why Gohan's attack stat was very high there. Okay, that sucks because, of course, both of those Vegeta, so the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, as well as this God Vegeta, have super attacks, which are not key blast based. So, pretty good showing from Gohan in this rotation. Let's move on to the next time we see him. Okay, so this will be a pretty good rotation because we will get support from the LR Goku. Yeah, wow, 429k defense. I mean, that is also with all in the family activated, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, I believe... Actually, no, I was going to say, the only thing we don't have actually active is Kamehameha, but that will trigger once we are able to collect Gohan's key spheres. But I'm going to keep Gohan in slot 1. Um, you know, I fear a double super attack from Namek Goku would finish off this god Vegeta. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll give Namek Goku his 18 key. So uh, let's see what kind of attacks that he'll output. I'm thinking like 7 million or something, right? Surely. Or maybe like 6.8? 7.6, oh my god, he's 55% by the way. Yeah, I don't know. When he starts doing this, like 7 million attack stats, 6 million attack stats, he's also guarding with like, I don't know, uh, on that rotation, I think he would have had 360k defense roughly in slot 1. So post super attack, his defense would have been 540k. Yeah, when you have, when you have a unit who's... 500k defense with guard and then also outputting 6 million attack stats. <laughs> They're very, very good. Okay, so uh, unfortunately, I actually popped both my scouter items. So we are out of luck. There are no super attacks in this particular rotation, which kind of sucks. We're going to keep rotations as they are. I believe the last time we saw the floating LR Goku, we had put Gohan in slot 1. This time we'll put him in slot 2 and have every single link active, which is pretty crazy because... Start of turn defense is 428. Uh, just an FYI, 428 multiplied by 1.5 is actually 642k. So I think on this rotation, Gohan will probably be around 5.5 million in terms of an attack stat. Remember, he gets 50 in attack within the same turn after receiving an attack, but we put him in slot 2, so that won't really activate. But again, defense levels are pretty good. Uh, and considering how good he is offensively, I think he truly deserves to be titled as one of the better units, if not one of the best units in the game. Okay, so this is going to be the end of the video. I was not able to stall long enough to get the other rotation. B-Pan would have been there with Namek Goku and then the SDR Gohan. We could have popped B-Pan's active and then, you know, really increased Gohan's attacks. That pretty much sent it to the moon, but it's fine. Uh, I don't really think we need to see stuff like that too much. Overall, I'm really satisfied with this Goku slash Gohan unit. You know, they do have their flaws. Um, I do wish, for example, Goku had a bit of key at the start of turn. I do also wish the same for this Gohan. I also wish Goku, for example and his evasion uh, without having to super attack, but I just really like the way they're designed, right? I do not like the fact that you have to super attack three times before you're able to exchange into Gohan, but I think it's probably warranted just based on how powerful this particular unit is. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this Goku slash Gohan unit, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.